Betty. Uh, memories of VE Day. Take us back to that time, your recollections. You, you see, Charlie was due back on the Friday, so Rose and I was doing the Tuesday afternoon. Well, we'd need where to stay, but we had an idea that we would do is go to a, a dance hall and pick ourselves up a couple of fellas and go home and stay with them, you know? Uh-huh, yes. Uh, go on. See, to get fellas any lassie knows, you've got to dress so suggestive and look as if you're going to put out at the drop of your hat, you know? <laughs> now, Rose was never one for wearing knickers, and while everybody knew I just wore mine to keep my ankles warm, <laughs> hang out she used to cry us, but we weren't caring. Uh, Betty. Oh, sorry, son. Tea time show, I know you tell me. Th that's OK. So, Betty, the celebrations themselves, a happy time for one and all? Oh, I heady days. I'll never forget them. I mean, one time I picked up this Irish fella, and, well, he'd managed to miss out in the draft on account of the size of his feet, you know, his big feet, and we teased him something rotten about that, cos you know what they say about a man with big feet, big feet, big... Betty. <laughs> the one they rang either. Like a big Clyde's daily was, he sorted me Andrews out. Oh, we were absolutely ruined. We've been walking about like Groucho Marx for days. So, so your husband, Betty, a uh, man of your dreams, your love, was returning home to your arms. Tell us about the meeting. Well, it didn't start off too well, cos I was too early on account of these Frenchmen we met. Celebrating? No, riding, son. <laughs> that, 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 ah, but wait, that's not the best yet, cos Rose starts to complain that she's feeling itchy. And right enough, I'd nearly clawed my front end off myself. <laughs> if we got to meet my man and Rose and I were absolutely hoaching with the crabs, <laughs> right with them, so we were. <laughs> Thanks, Betty. Thanks. Of course, I smit at him with him and all. 